Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Hi there, my name's Timmy Joe, making videos about computers on the internet, and uh, I know I'm just being racist against Germans. Ooh, the Germans! Uh oh, the Germans are coming to get me! Ooh, the Germans. Uh, when I say that like that, but sorry, uh, whatever. You know what? Debauer, I like your product. Leave it alone. But we all have one question on our mind. What happens when you mix the gallium or whatever metals uh, are liquid in your product with aluminum? Seeing as, you know, there's lots of indication you shouldn't do that. We see that everywhere. I mean, uh, we've seen here on your website, it clearly speaks right underneath here. Uh, Thermal Grizzly is not to be used with aluminum coolers. It says it right on there. So when I see Brian from Tech yes City, he's got some, you know, delitting going on. And, uh, you know, he pops it in there, starts using way too much of this stuff. We well, wise will use all that excess on this GPU dial. What do you listen to, Phil Collins? He takes the cooler off and puts it on a, clearly some copper heat pipe, sure, but some aluminum too! And in the comments, everyone was yelling about it. So, what do we do about it? Well, we, we, we'll just, we'll test it. It'll be fun. We're gonna go ahead and with some hardware I don't care too, too much about, we're gonna put the liquid metal on it and uh, this culprit right here is gonna get very messed up, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I have a like Celeron single core, seven sock 775 in this motherboard. I would rather not destroy, but you know, it's a nice working motherboard with uh, a gig of RAM in it. And then this is a video card. It's a 50, 5750, I believe. Uh, that I can't get working. I got it from a very disgusting person who had it in a bin and it was f just riddled with gross crap and I tried my best to get it working and I cannot. So we are going to take the thermal paste that I replaced on it. We're going to put it on its aluminum heat sink. We're going to put some liquid metal on uh, this thing. Put the Intel cooler on there. Turn the system on and just kind of see what happens because it'll be fun so let's get this started let's get it underway and you know what I don't care if we make a little smoke today make a little smoke show uh, that would be ideal I guess for the views of the video but as far as it actually happening I, I doubt we're gonna see any like sparks or anything actually that crazy here we go GPUs exposed CPUs exposed let's get the liquid metal out and we'll make a little video here we'll make it happen so what I didn't like about Brian's thing there was uh, this stuff's expensive. Well, it's not that expensive, but I, you know, I don't want to go wasting it. And you can suck it back up into the needle. I've done that millions of times. Uh, you know, that way you're not wasting any. But if you want to really just, you know, waste some, you can get the little tips out. And I'm pretty sure he was using uh, Conductonaut in his video. So let's start with the CPU. Then I'll move. I'll put them. Uh, both together separately. I'll put the uh, CPU on or the, he the heat sink on uh, as quick as I can. Let's make sure that this is all ready to snap in. We all know how easy these coolers are to put on. So I've used this product a number of times on delitting CPUs and uh, in uh, shorting out shunt resistors because that's what this stuff's really good for. But never for such a tedious task. Oh, there we go. A little generous portion there. And then float her on over here. And that should be more than enough for the experiment. And then we'll put the, we'll actually turn the system on and see what happens. I'd be interested to see if the heat, hopefully the GPU will still produce some heat, but the heat has some sort of uh, help with the reaction. But uh, I always find it so hard to spread this shit too. You gotta kind of just make it happen. And it's not supposed to be like, look like liquid when you're done. It's supposed to look like you spread a metal paste. So we've got this all spread out. We've got way too much on as far as I'm concerned. What you do here is you just stick the little the needle back in and you suck it up. And we're, we're ready to go as far as I'm concerned. So 
This will be fun. Tap, tap, and that one. Ah, there we go. She's in place. Get the fan connected. Ah, now get this all. Chickity boo. Oh, I got one there. There we go. Boom. We're go time. Okay. And put this over here. Graphics cards installed. Three, two, one. It's on. Well, so far, nothing's happening. I will report back once we know a little more. Uh, I'll let this system, you know, run, see if it'll run for, uh, you know, as long as it'll run for, or as long as it takes to do something. But I got to go to work in about an hour and a half, so we don't have that much time. So we'll see you guys in a second. Roll some B-roll. Hi there, it's Timmy Joe, making videos back here. We've got results, it's been 24 hours. Uh, I kind of figured if we survived the first like hour, that it would be a, you know, a little bit to figure this out. Uh, and, I, and I actually believe our parts are gonna be okay. Mostly because this system's been running for 24 hours with liquid metal on an aluminum heatsink, and it's still running, and it's running at 36 degrees which was where it was yesterday. In fact, it's a couple degrees cooler, if anything. So that's interesting. I also tried to get this computer to post so I could run like Cinebench or some sort of, get, get the temperatures up on the CPU, but the, the processor or something is preventing uh, my hard drive I had originally hooked up to this to booting. So it's just been, I know that's where I went. Let's do 24 hours, we'll figure it out. So I took the graphics card out and uh, we'll, we'll check this, but before we get there, uh, I'm fairly certain nothing's going to be wrong with the actual computer components because the grade of aluminum used on the heat sinks is probably that that a little bit of liquid metal, like a, a teardrop of it, isn't going to hurt your components, uh, but it, it will over time. But what I have here is some aluminum tape, and on this aluminum tape right here, there, I, I dropped some gallium, I left it sit there and do its thing. This is very thin aluminum and as we can see, it has ate through the aluminum tape and left some sort of a sticky mess there. So you can see, it, it does obviously affect it. There's a reason why there's this disclaimer in there. But uh, as far as there being a little bit of aluminum on the heat sink near you know, where you're putting it, uh, it's not going to cause immediate issues. The problem will be down the line once it eats through and you know enough of it or, or does something. It'll probably just end up impeding your cooling when in the first place you were trying to get better cooling out of it. So, so, poof. Yes, we see no no damage to this aluminum heatsink. A little bit of liquid metal even resting on it. Now this, like, you know, I don't think there's any coating or anything. It would impede the, co the cooling capabilities of the aluminum if there was. But um, we see it didn't even really spread well. Uh, so it's, you know, there wasn't enough on there, obviously. So let's get to the heat sink. This, was, this is something I'm most interested to see. So turn this off. And now that's off, we'll take this heat sink off and see what kind of damage even the chipset's a little warm so the cpu was warm it was doing its job there get this all unplugged get to our main event 
have a feeling it's going to be very, you know, very anticlimactic. Poof! Yep. Nothing. Nothing. We see the liquid metal spread. So it was even. There was contact. I'll clean this up real good just to make sure. So a foregone conclusion. Oh. Okay. There's a little bit of damage. Cool. So we see a little bit of damage there. It looks really different when you put the aluminum or the alcohol on it. We have damaged our Intel heatsink. There are a couple of burn marks in there. So there we go. Some proof that it's gonna it's gonna do something. Uh, so don't put it near the aluminum. But after 24 hours, all we got is a couple black spots on the cooler. I was like really hoping and, and expecting that maybe the thing would be like rotted away or like it would look like acid had dropped on the metal. Not the case at all. It would seem this is pretty much, with the exception of the aluminum tape, you know, there, uh, a complete failure to, to get any sort of cool reaction out of this. So I apologize if you've been watching this whole video and come to the conclusion here that a little bit of liquid metal ain't going to do much to your components on aluminum. Uh, at least not right away, but over time it will rot at it and something's bound to happen and in, in, it will eventually just probably affect the cooling uh, ability or capacity of the heatsink you're attaching it to and there will be your issue. Um, but we all know that if that liquid metal got warm enough and creeped into the, you know, inside the CPU, you know, could cause, it's a conductor, so it's going to short things out if it gets in the wrong spots. So only use it where it should be used, like deleting a CPU and be very careful doing stuff like that, or use it to uh, cut off some shunt resistors. So I'm at Watch Jimmy Joe, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, at least there's some sort of like little black spots on that, that, you know, kind of prove the point that even after 24 hours, something was happening. But... You know, aside from this little bit here, oh, it's like turned to ash. It's dirty now. You know, th th this here proves that if it's thin enough, it will start to eat it out. And I think I ruined my lazy Susan. I will see you guys in another video. Thanks very much for watching. Don't put liquid metal on aluminum unless you want a very slow agonizing death to your heatsink.